Okay, good evening, everyone, from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Don Carson, Blue Diamond. Happy to have John Arenza, Blue Diamond, join me tonight to do a little back-and-forth conversation. Uh, just a quick hello from uh, the people that are climbing in, just so we can hear some excitement, then I'll mute everybody. So go ahead, everyone, say a quick hello. Right now, Andrea, Hello. Hi, Lori from Hello, Lori from Wonderful, Alex wonderful. Thanks, guys, for chiming in. Okay, let me mute everybody. Okay, well, welcome to the call, everyone. Just give me one second here so I can unmute John. i got to find you again, John, where you are right there. Hold on one second. You should be live now. John, are you live? I'm, I, am I live? Yes, perfect. Can I can hear you good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Listen, everyone, this is a call tonight to talk a little bit about the industry of network marketing, a little bit about types of things you should look for, and for those of us that are on my normal Wednesday night calls, we usually cover a topic that's a little bit more deep rather than just a getting started, but some more functional training on, on building your team and, and what that might mean to be able to mentor them and so on. So tonight's topic is, um, is an interesting one. Uh, you know, I, I was thinking about, um, you know, the different weeks that we go through different trainings and sometimes, you know, you know, wonder, you always say to yourself, well, what am I going to talk about? What are, what are we going to go through tonight that's not been covered before? Well, you know what, to be honest, interesting to cover a topic tonight, which is, you know, you know, you've heard this said before, but we're going to dig into it a little bit uh, tonight. You know, why network marketing and why Valentis? And, and kind of going through some of the questions that I can ask John, and we can go back and forth. And, you know, he's an industry vet, veteran um, that can share so much, and, you know, he, he's mentored so many. But, you know what, ultimately, this is one of the keys that I've realized, uh, you know, most definitely that happiness is not an accident nor is it something you wish for. Happiness is something you design. And, John, I know you've been designing your life for a long time through this industry. And do those words resonate in you? You know, absolutely. It, it is, you know, this a matter of fact, it, I was talking to someone, you know, earlier today um, who I had met with who is managing a restaurant. And he's coming to conference. Actually, my daughter brought him in, a friend of my daughter's, and I was just talking about network marketing is not a better way, you know, to work. It's a better way to live. You know, the freedoms uh, that you have. I mean, you know, as I, I, I even think back when I, when I, you know, when I was first in the career, my kids were young, and uh, you know, their parents are, you know, the, you know, my friends, my kids' parents, uh, or my kids' friends' parents were, you know, they're off in the morning, and you know, kids are at the sitter or whatever, and and you know. I mean, I, I worked out of my home. I mean, it's not a better way to work. It's a better way to live. I mean, you know, yes, you travel a little bit, but when you're home all the time, when you're home, you're home. And, you know, you're, you're, you're I mean, it's, it's just the environment. I mean, uh, you know, I was doing a three-way phone call. Um, actually, not three-way. I was on a conference call yesterday, a leadership call um, yes, last night before the national call. And my, uh, again, referring back to my daughter, and um, she was just talking about, I mean, it's like the, the stuff she heard or absorbed just being in the background over the years. And, and to hear that start, you know, to coming out of her mouth uh, just put a huge smile on my face. And, Don, you, you met my daughter, and, and Nancy met my daughter, and she's just a little firecracker. But it is. It's, it's a better way to live. It's a better way to, to um, for your family. Um, and, you know, I mean, all in all, I mean, I, can't, I couldn't imagine – couldn't even imagine doing anything else. I'm unemployable, if that would be uh, a good term. Yeah, you know, so happiness is something you design, and I congratulate you on the design that you've been on and the journey that we're following with you. It's been incredible. So let's talk about perception and reality. You know, there is this perception out there by many, and there's a certain group that have this perception, by the way, that this could be a get-rich-quick scheme or that this is all based on home parties or door-to-door -door sales or, you know what, you've got to convince people or there's a hard sell here. You know, that's not true. That's nothing like what we do. I mean, ultimately, we've heard the term professional friend maker. We've heard the term that I'm a point, uh, point click and share information director. You know, I'm just trying to fill in the blanks for people so they can make the decision I know they should make. I mean, there's lots of things there. But when you're picking an opportunity, and that's what we're going to talk about now, the topic we're going to go down, for those of you that might be on this call, and listen, I know there's some people chiming in tonight that aren't quite yet in, but they're on a training call. So I congratulate you because you're taking the time to be on this call. So that's awesome. Good for you. But, 
you know what? When you think about picking the right opportunity, there are some key components that you should look for. So, John, we're going to talk a little bit about this. So one of them, you know, obviously stability. You've been in this industry, been with companies that are older than Valentis, but, man, we're coming up almost three years young in a little bit. But you know what's exciting about the network marketing industry is that companies like Amway started in 1959. And it's funny, I was just chatting with somebody this week, and they were going to an Amway meeting, and they didn't even know what Amway was. They'd never heard about it, yet the industry, of course, the people like myself – obviously knew about that many, many, many moons ago. It wasn't for me because it's been sort of been there, done that for lots of people. But the, the point I'm making is this industry always has new people born every day. It has new customers in your, your, your environment every day. So stability is the key. So let's just take a moment, John, stability. What does stability mean when you think of Valentis right now for you, being as close as you are to Dave Jordan? And you know, what do you think about our stable environment? Just to describe the term Pick the right opportunity for stability. What does that mean to you in terms of Alentis? Well, you know, obviously, um, Don, you know, the infrastructure needs to be in, cl- in place. And, and Valentis has crossed over that threshold of risk, both from a timing and also a financial standpoint, and from a sheer number standpoint of where we are, you know, from a distributor standpoint, how many distributors, how many, you know, what's the sales volume. But, you know, at the end of the day, what really makes up a company is people, right? I mean, you know, it's the and, – and that's where my confidence – um, really, uh, you know, comes from, you know, I talk about these six elements and the company being one of those key elements, but the, you know, the big thing for me when it relates to Volantis is the relationship, the history I have with Dave and Joyce Jordan, you know, who they are as people, um, and, you know, because that's the thing, you know, you know, a lot of, a lot of people, you know, new just entering, they don't know Dave like I know him. And so they got to kind of have that faith or trust. But I knew what I was getting into. I knew, you know, who Dave was. I, you know, I knew his character, his work ethic, his heart. Um, but, but Don, if I could just for a moment, I want to back up, okay, because a little bit, you know, before you kind of went into this topic, you were talking about some of the skepticisms, you know, the natural skepticisms uh, that are perceptions, right? You use the word perception. That really is. It's perception. They don't know. They're just – you know, they hear something and, and, and they think that, you know, that's the way it is. Uh, you know, this, you know, is it a pyramid or is it a get rich quick scheme or, or whatever. And I mean, to boil it down, network marketing, I mean, is not just, it, it's a better way to bring a product for manufactured online user. It's a more efficient way to bring a product for manufactured online user. It is nothing more than another form of distribution. You know, as you think about traditional methods, of distribution, you know, retail, right? Think of a Walmart, um, you know, all the products sitting on those shelves and, you know, understand, and it doesn't matter if it's Walmart, if it's the local, you know, corner corner department store, whatever. I mean, 50% of the cost of a product in a traditional retail environment is advertising. I mean, it's paying actors and athletes and high-budget advertising campaigns hundreds of millions of dollars to get you to pick those products off the shelf. And what we do in network marketing is is that, you know, because everybody wonders, where does the money come from? I mean, you hear about, you know, these incredible incomes. How is that even possible? Well, because we're not paying Tiger Woods, right? We're, we're, we take that 50%. If you think of that on a budget sheet or, a, a, you know, a, a, you know a, a, a summary, you just take that 50%, and that, that's what goes and funds our compensation plan, right? Paying real people um, with real results. But the other thing about network marketing is you're going to find it has a higher quality of product than does traditional distribution because yeah, John, traditional that, retail that covers that that next question that i was going to run by your way i mean we do have excellent products and obviously when you're picking an opportunity you've got to find excellent products and right away you're going into this but i want to make sure that we covered this you know you're removing so much of the fluff that has to be put into these products on the shelf because they do have to advertise and market and have the overhead. But when in network marketing, the product quality is so much better. So I'll let you continue. But that's the second point I was going to bring up here of the six I wanted to cover. So absolutely, go into the product. Well, you know, if you look at retail, again, retail is all based off of price, right? I mean, it's a very price competitive environment. And, and if you're going to compete with price, you know, what gets sacrificed? You know, it's quality. Right. Well, network marketing is all results driven. So if your success depends on results, you know, you need to have a quality product. So you almost always find a higher quality of product in this method of distribution. 
And we're also able to reach people that traditional distribution can't reach. You know, because if you're going to go, I mean, you need to make a conscious decision, know about a product. I mean, know that you want to go into a store and purchase it. Well, a lot of times the people, you know, that we're able to reach don't know it even exists. We're able to go right into their home. We're able to, you know, come over the phone with them. We're able to educate them about a product that, you know, they had no idea even existed, right, where, um, you know, so we can actually reach more people than even traditional retail. And, exactly. Um, you know, when it comes to customer service, I mean, you know, I mean, you've got a whole team of people there to work with you, answer questions where in retail, right, good luck if you can even find somebody, you know, uh, you know that, that, that even, you know, you go to a department store or a Target or a Walmart or whatever, I mean, you wonder if anybody even works in the place. So Exactly. And so, so when you start thinking about these great products that we have, excellent products and more coming, you know, it's funny you say that. I mean, we could come up with a product. Let's say I'm just fictitiously picking this, everyone, so don't get excited because this isn't true. We can come up with a product that's going to help everybody grow two inches. Well, first off, we, we can't explain that. We couldn't technically say it's going to make you two inches taller. But if I got into your home and showed that to you, man, you'd probably want it if you're somebody who was only five foot eight that wanted to be five foot ten, right, John? I mean, that's the value of our product. Sometimes they're, the results will drive the sales, and we're able to get into the homes and we're able to show people or with our friends and family. Now, pay plan. Wise. Let's talk, cover this for a second. I mean, you've seen a lot of different industry uh, uh, products out there. Again, picking the right opportunity, the pay plan is so important. But what ultimately is the key success point for me is, you know, how many pennies out of all of the deals that you're done are actually paid out, number one. And number two, how fair is it in terms of the pennies that are getting paid to everyone, you know, the old members and the new ones? That's a real important thing. And, you know, I know we want to touch on this uh, for a minute or so, but, John, this compensation plan, my goodness, it rewards exactly the way the world should pick a network marketing opportunity. It really does share the pennies properly, doesn't it? Well, it does. It's distributed fairly and equally. I mean, there's something in it for everyone, um, you know, for that, that part-timer. But, you know, I, I want you know, when it, when it comes to comp plans, right, because every company – right, is out there saying they got the best, most lucrative comp plan. And the reality of it is, is most companies have about the same amount of money to pay out, somewhere between, you know, 50, uh, you know, 40 and 50 percent. You mentioned Amway earlier. Some of the older companies are down in the 30s, right? Some are even approaching close to 20, the, the high 20s. But, but we pay out, um, you know, we're higher than 50 percent. I know that the payout is higher than 50 percent. So we're, we're on the highest end of that chart, Right. But the real question it comes to what you asked, who gets it, right, and what do you have to do to get it? And that is where the Valentis plan really excels because we don't have all the hurdles and the hoops and the structure requirements and people filling their garages trying to stay interactive in the plan. And, and in my – I mean, this is 28 years in the industry. This is the most exciting compensation plan that I've ever been a part of it. I mean, it is – it's off the charts. I mean, that, that, you know, you talk about those elements. I mean, you know, we are, you know, we're at the very top of the charts when it comes to comp plan. Yeah, and, you know, you know, you mentioned something. One of the topics I was going to touch on was integrity, and I kind of you touched on it a little bit there, the closeness that you have with Dave. And, you know, what, Dave's become one of my best friends, and, and Joyce is one of my, my wife's dearest friends. She loves her to pieces. They're only an hour and a half away from us, so we're close enough to be able to go dinner, do dinner with them and so on. So we've got to know them. But, man, this guy's got some history of success. I mean, he's built some serious organizations. He's built a $100 million business. And in traditional business, he gets success, and he's bringing all of that to the table here. And he has the integrity to back it up. He won't do anything wrong. This man will absolutely – you know, walk away from what could be a home run and say, no, it has to be done right. I mean, isn't that what's got you here, John, is the integrity of, of Dave? Yeah, I mean, it's it's the passion, it's the heart, it's the integrity. You know, it's it's his general, um, you know, I mean, he's got a, a, a uh, I don't know what the term is, everything the guy touches turns to gold. I mean, he's got the magic touch. And, and he's, I mean, he's a big thinker. He's a progressive thinker. He's, he's a visionary. He, he's looking, uh, I mean, he's looking way ahead at, at, and you're right, he doesn't need to do this, but he loves to do this. And because of his past experience in some of the companies that he's been with, which I've been with him in, 
um, we've worked together in in one company. Um, you know, he you know he he coins that phrase. I mean, he's here to make the industry great again, right? And and that's where my real belief is in what his mission is here. Um, is he has our back. He has our back. You know, he's been in a situation where his legs have been cut out from underneath him. You know, things have happened that would have been done wrong, and and he's here to make it right, right? And that's where that that peace of mind comes from. Yeah, and that leads to the next one. So, again, the first four things you're looking for in terms of a company is stability. We've covered that. Excellent products and why they're excellent. Pay plans, ours is incredible. Integrity, we got Dave and Joyce Jordan. And timing and momentum, my gosh, three-year-old, not quite. This summer it'll be three years old. We're growing. Obviously, we've got stuff going on here, more products coming. This company's going through experiencing this growth that's been unprecedented unprecedented over the last three years, and we're growing even further this year. Um, very well-timed opportunity, wouldn't you say, uh, John? Well, Don, you're getting me excited just talking about this stuff um, because, it, it. I mean, all of the elements are in place. I mean, that's why I am so um, excited about this. But, but timing out of the elements, you know, is as important as all the rest, if not more important. You look at anyone who has made a lot of money in anything. Don, you know this from your past businesses, timing. Right? How would it, how important to get involved in something, you know, before the whole world has heard about it, and be part of helping the world learn about it. I mean, you know, timing is. Every company tells you that timing is perfect, but timing is a factor of numbers. This is not my opinion. I mean, this is research. I mean, this is this is. I mean, this, the numbers don't lie. I mean, it's how many distributors are there, and what's the sales volume. And by both of those measurements. The timing here at Valentis truly is perfect. I mean, and that's, again, one of the major, you know, reasons of, 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 of combined with all the rest of why I'm so jacked up and excited, working as hard as I'm working, because I know exactly where we are as a company. And I know yeah, where I know we're what, going, and, and these and, days are precious. And the sixth piece of the six things you look for for the right opportunity, needless to say, is a call like this, good training, good support from your you know, success team that's there to help you, systems in place that are being duplicated. And obviously we're going to talk a lot about that in Toronto at the end of the week when we go through two days of training to show people the, the secrets to building this business as well as launching 10 major announcements. But, man, we have a heck of a support team, ridiculously smart and, edu ed ed and energetic training individuals that are there to help you on multiple days of time, and our systems are there. So, John, I know you're part of that, but I know it's an exciting time for all of us. So let's go a little bit further now. So, yeah, we've covered a few things of what you're looking for. Now I want to touch on just briefly an interesting topic here uh, of, again, you know, when you think about making a business choice and network marketing pops into your head, here are the things that I need you to know, folks, because I'm a traditional businessman before I'm a network marketer, even though I'm a blue diamond in Valentis, and you know, I, I share that space with John, and I, and I learn all the time from him and Ted and others. The, qu the question is, for me as a business guy, you know, this is a low startup to get started here. So you've got that challenge when you're introducing a business person out there or a busy person. But what's interesting, and you have to understand this, there is unlimited upside with this low startup. So it's something to talk about and be excited about. And there's leverage points normally that when you start a traditional business that you don't have to worry about in network marketing. Things like, John was touching on it, you know, the customer support that's required, the shipping departments that's required in a traditional business. Hey, having research and development to go out and bring on new products and, and introduce them like we're going to be doing in Toronto. Folks, your $20 activation fee gives you that activity of all of this stuff going on right there, and you didn't have to have the pain of hiring or firing. And here's the real secret. You know that Dave, John, you know this. He's got like $7 million dollars. Is that the number, John? Invested into research and development to come down the pipeline for this company's future. Isn't it incredible that we're able to get all of that for a $20 activation fee? That's a training point for you guys to know. Have in your heart, have a duplicatable, unshakable faith that you can talk to anybody about the fact they didn't have to put out $7 million to get ready for the future. It's being done for them for their same activation fee. John, would you like to talk to that point for a second? Well, you know, uh, Don, you you know it better than anyone because you've done uh, you have and you've you've had other businesses in the past and and know 
you know, the headaches and the overhead and the risk and the personal guarantees and you're the last one to get paid and, you know, it's a 24-7. I mean, we could go on and on about, you know, the, the, the dream that everybody wants to have that, 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 that you know, that, their own business, but they have no idea the cost, the headaches, the risks, the stress, everything. And here we offer bigger opportunity, right, um, with none of those types of things. Uh, the company does everything for you for five hundred dollars. Here's where you know. Here's where the negative is, right? It's only five hundred dollars to get started, right? Um, not fifty thousand. It should be what we should do. We'd have a lot more people successful here if we if it was five five hundred to get started, but fifty thousand to quit, right? <laughs> We'd have a lot more people, you know, because that's the they, they have no idea what they have. I mean, they'll go work for someone else. 40 hours a week, 60 hours a week to probably get cut out before retirement. You know, they realize at the end of the game they're nothing more than the number to the environment, the family, the heart. That I mean, nobody knows that heart more than you, Don. You and Nancy just ooze that, I mean, to have all of your experience and life, life experiences available to everyone to learn from. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm in awe of you and Nancy and what you've done, the, the, the support you guys provide, and, and you know, I mean, getting to know you in, in Atlantis, you and you and Nancy. I mean, um, you know, I believe we're going to become some some very best friends. I just, it's just. Well, we it. already are. It's just that I, you got to learn how to play cards next to me because you didn't follow my lead. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, we're bang on the same page here. And so when you think about good prospects and bad prospects, I mean, there is no real bad prospect. But you know, we want to avoid those negative people. We want to watch out for the people that think they know everything. We want to watch out for the people that really. And here's an analogy that I heard Tom Hopkins say many, many years ago. You know, the caterpillar that tries to keep everybody crawling on the ground while the butterfly wants to fly and when the butterfly starts to fly the caterpillar is trying to pull him back down saying well you can't fly i mean those are the people that we are surrounded with that are the naysayers but what's interesting and this is a, a great little story that i learned a while back here you know um guy walks into restaurants they're sitting in the same place every week the same time orders the same meal in the same chair you know he's got that ocd whatever and the, and the bread comes and the guy says to the waiter one week hey don't you guys give you know, more than a slice of bread, and the next week the guy shows up, he gives him three pieces of bread, and the next week he complains, well, gosh, you know, don't you guys bring butter, and next week he brings him some butter, and, and, and he says, well, Jesus, you know, don't you guys heat the bread, and so then the guy comes back, and the same waiter says, I'm going to show him, and the cook shows up there with a brand spanking loaf of bread out of the oven, pat of butter floating off the top, a knife stuck in the sign, steaming, looking, and smelling delicious, and the guy says, don't you guys cut your bread? I mean, People are born to be dissatisfied, John, and that's the, the people that you're going to come across. And what we have to get good at is sorting through them. So there's some success tips, tips here I want to share with everybody in this last seven, eight minutes, John, and we're going to get a little heart-to-heart, -heart, you and I. Um, so, you know, it's really kind of this method of saying do as I do, make sure you do it, basically practice what you preach. It's not do as I do. It's basically – if you're going to say to do something, you better be willing to do it. So getting on the conference calls, getting in the training calls, going to the events. John, you're doing all that. You always have, always done. But listen, we're all looking for that mentor. So just a quick, you know, quick word or two. Who was your mentor? Who got you started here? Throw that at it. A little heartfelt feeling here. Who was your mentor in network marketing? Well, um, you know, I had a, a it, way back in, in uh, the company, my very first company, NSA, and you know, when I first got in, uh, it was $5,000 to get started. Uh, they thought they would never hear from me again, and I couldn't afford to lose it. I thank God that it cost that much to get in, or I would not probably be here today because I couldn't afford to lose that 5000 And I was in the business about, um, well, it's close to 90 days because I went to a meeting in Fargo and connected with one of the leaders, came up to him afterwards, and he became my mentor, a guy by the name of Mike Nelson, right? And he was the national marketing director. And, uh, and, and so uh, then I had, um, you know, a secondary mentor when I went into my second experience, um, who I still dear friends with and, and is an incredible, credible individual, a guy by the name of Todd Smith. Um, and I would have to say I have a third mentor, and this is a very important part of what we do here, and I know you know this, Don, and that is personal development. I just resonated with Jim Rowan. And, I mean, I became a student of his philosophies. Um, but... You, you, you talk about do, um, be, do, do the things that, that you want your people to be doing. 
and and that is so true. I mean, this is everything. Everything we do sets an example of what others think they have to do. I mean, if we're not out there prospecting, if we're not out there enrolling, if we're not on the calls, you know, if if we're not doing the things, I can promise our team's not doing it. And I you mean, know, that's where you go ahead. You know, John, John, the three-way call, great example. I mean, I ran into lots of people that never duplicated the three-way call and their business stalled. It's no question that it works and we're duplicating that. And, you know, I, we're all examples of that. I mean, listen, Finding that mentor is important, and you're going to change them, you're going to learn from them, and you're going to take the nuggets from all of them, and that's why these calls are so important. You're trying to find that, but your upline wants you to be successful, don't they? I mean, obviously, if you're reaching up to find out who your upline is, they're committed to your success before their own because this business is really about helping other people be more successful than yourself while you're building those relationships. You touched on the relationship that we have already and meeting your daughter and the powerful message she shared with my kids in a group setting saying she's seen this industry from the inside out, being there for 26 years. What is she, 22 years old? She's been born and raised in this industry. It's the first time she's seen a culture like Valenta. She's so proud that you're a part of. And, and you know, that resonated with my children who are paying way more attention today. But ultimately, it's so important to recognize that, you know, you can't succeed by yourself, can you? you it, like, have you ever heard this? And Jim Rohn said it. It's hard to find a rich hermit. <laughs> you know, you've got to be part of a team. You've got to get involved in a group setting. You've got to understand that it's so important to be a relationship builder. And so that's kind of what you're looking for in a good prospect, aren't you? You know, salespeople are good relationship builders. The dreamers, the small business people, anyone that loves to help others, coaches, all those types of people that are givers, doers, volunteers, they're great prospects, aren't they? So you're a relationship builder. I love the pieces out of you. Consider you a great friend now. But would you, you know, just just touching on that for a second, you know, your upline is so, so important. But do you, would you say you've got to reach up and let them know who you are? Would you recommend that to all these folks on the call, that they reach out and tell, say, hey, I'm here, and I'm going to show you what I want you to do, but will you teach me? Is that an important strategy? It is absolutely important because, you know, we get, you know, we get busy, and how we know who's really doing it is by who's reaching out to us. You're not going to wear us out. I mean, we're, we love what we do, right? And and so, I mean, we're here to help. All you have to do is call. We're we're reaching out. I mean, our job is to keep people in one more day. But sometimes, you know, we don't know, you know. So reach out. If you have the desire, you want to do this thing, I promise you, whether it's Don or Nancy, whether it's me, whether it's, you know, Ted, whoever, um, you know, we're going to, I mean, we're this is a business of relationships. It's a business of, of building people. And, and, and we work together to hold each other up. Right, I we mean, do. Um, absolutely. And if you feel down, call up. I call it, the, for me, it's the TED Talk occasion. I'll call Ted, Ted, what do you think? And he'll give me a little pep talk, and off I go. Pat me on the butt, get going, Don, off you go. I don't call and be negative to the organization if I've got something bothering me. I go upline, and we teach that strategy, and we'll be doing a lot of that in Toronto. Listen, let's finish off with uh, the last two minutes here. You know, full-time versus part-time. It's obviously, you know, a very delicate topic for everybody because – you know, it, it, there's a dream to go full-time in this industry. Be somebody who, as my wife says, I'm doing life with you. Let's do life together. You know, we're, we're as you said, you know, uh, we work to not work. Whatever analogy you want to use. But, you know what, Jim Rohn kind of, again, said, learn to be happy with what you have while you pursue all that you want. It's such an important message that he shares, isn't it? And you went full time. So, you know, for you, how, like, how long ago, how long when you started an industry – did you actually say, okay, I'm going full-time? I know you were in a chip factory and all those other things, but how long did it take you before you said, you know what, I'm a full-time network marketer? Well, it was six months, I was, I was, you know, which is, you know, relatively fast. Um, you know, I came into a company that was in that critical math stage, and, and you know, it was, you know, I, I, I mean, I was working hard part-time. You know, but, you know, Jim Rowan talks about, you, you know, you, you want to have that part-time income, you know, as much or, or ex, you know, exceeding your full-time income. Because that's a great, you know, the, there's, I love the part-time story, right? Don't go full-time too quick, um, but uh, be ready to do it when, when you're ready. I mean, and it's always, it can always be nerve scary, but I can tell you it's exhilarating and it's fun. But for me, it was it was six months. I went a little. I went, you know, you I went full time fast. 
You were really yep. quick. You know what? That's exciting. But you know what? Today, for all of you on the call, your time is your time. Pick your moment. But you know what? We're all here to help you. And the final thing that we're going to do here for the end of our call is recommend uh, a good book. So you know what? You know, again, Jim Rohn is such a big thing about filling your brain with good information. It'll fill your pocket. There's lots of analogies there. And you know what? The book you don't read won't help. I mean, that's a great statement he's said for for a lot of times. John, I know you've heard that. But Hey, recommend a book, John. Just pick one that if you had to pick one right now for these folks on this call, let's finish this call off and I'll recommend one as well. Uh, which book would you recommend that uh, these folks here pick up uh, to, to, to start filling their brain with good stuff? Well, are you talking from network marketing or personal development? Well, we know your book's really good, you know, right or almost right, but I'm talking about a personal development book that you would recommend to help people get on this path that Jim Rohn or others have sort of set you on. And, and again, I agree with you 100%. So pick a book. Give, give me one book that you'd um, recommend. You know, How to Win Friends and Influence People. By Dale Carnegie. Yep. Awesome book. I agree 500%. Folks, if you haven't read it, pick it up. You can get it, download it, whatever you got to do. I'm a book guy. I like to touch and feel them. I really do. I think that every time you pick up a book after a year or two of reading it, you've got something else you can get from it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love the feel. Five years ago when I picked up a book, I know there was something different in my life every five years. I, I get a different feel for that book. Anyways, that's a great book. I re agree. And the final thought for me, you know what? It's, I've said it before. I like simple. Who moved my cheese? You know, it's a simple, simple read, and it gets people on the path of thinking change. And sometimes people that won't want to change, that, that caterpillar, that negative Nelly out there, uh, you know what? Get that book in their hands. It's an interesting read. It's a quick read. Um, hey, folks, John, thank you for jumping on this call. It was short notice. I think we had a great time. This is a great training tool, I think, for us all. Uh, I'm going to record it, uh, to, um, uh, stop the recording here. And um, you know what, John? Love you, man. Looking forward to seeing you in Toronto. Everybody, we'll record. We're going to post this, and go ahead and share it. I think it's a good call for your, uh, for your people on your teams. John, thanks again. <clears throat> yes, thank you, Don, for inviting me on, and, and love you and Nancy. Can't wait to come up to Winnipeg and go to your lake place and go fishing, and super excited about uh, our upcoming uh, conference and seeing everybody. And you got me all fired up and jacked up here tonight on this call. So <laughs> Take care, my friend. All the best. Uh, okay. Bye -bye. Thanks, guys. Bye -bye. Bye-bye.